Hello everyone, welcome to this session on View Storefront. In today's session, we are going to discuss on what View Storefront is and uh, what its architecture and how VSF work. So in the, uh, in, in, we will discuss around these topics and uh, uh, let's get started. So View Storefront is progressive web application for e-commerce and uh, it's a, a platform agnostic it is a web application which uh, works as a native app that means it's uh, provide you the support of offline mode after the box also it follow the headless architecture which means the front end and back ends are separate and they are independent to each other uh, so this is the brief idea about the view storefront you can get the more details about it uh, from viewstorefront.io and if you would like to see the uh, demo of uh, uh, live demo of the view storefront. I'll suggest you to visit demo.viewstorefront.io. You can refer the docs at docs.viewstorefront.io. View storefront is headless and backend agnostic. Its headless architecture allows you to connect view storefront with any e commerce platform like Magento, Shopify, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, Arvix Commerce, etc. Here are some key features listed for the view storefront. Platform agnostic, as we discussed, you can connect any e-commerce platform with the view storefront. It's bezzling fast and you and your customer will simply love its performance. View storefront learn seamlessly on the mobile devices. And it uses Vue.js as front-end library, Node.js plus Express as server API, Elasticsearch as database of product with full PWN offline support. Along with this, it provides some cool features like server-side rendering and offline mode out of the box. So this is all about some uh, quick introduction to uh, View Storefront. And now let's uh, jump into the architecture of View, View Storefront. So uh, you can see uh, this is the architecture diagram uh, uh, of the view storefront. Uh, this is the view storefront, and uh, let's let's uh, start uh, uh, reading this diagram from right. So so this is simple uh, high level architecture of the view storefront. So uh, for the uh, purpose of uh, demonstration, let's take the example how it is connected with the Magento uh, Magento backend. So uh, here we are in the Magento, and we have this layer of uh, storefront API. So what happens is, this storefront uh, uses uh, the service worker and the storefront API for fetching the data from your backend. So what happens is, uh, uh, the uh, there are there are uh, it is basically work in 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 uh, two phases. One is the data pump, and second is worker pool. So let's first come to the uh, data pump. This is I'm talking about the API connector. So data pump, uh, yeah, it's it's an uh, independent GitHub repository which basically pulls the data from uh, uh, from your backend and index it in the Elasticsearch, right? So basically, all your data which is available in, on your uh, backend is uh, is indexed in the Elasticsearch using this component. And then this, the data which is uh, available in your backend is consumed by View Storefront API and then finally consumed from their View Storefront. At the same time, uh, you can see we are having uh, uh, the service worker pool, which is the uh, uh, which is basically uh, is a synchronized uh, process uh, of so-called dynamic calls. So basically, the things which could not be stored in database like user session and card rules are. Uh, are called by view storefront api directly to the to the backend platform so uh so these are the uh, direct api call to the uh the backend so all these things which are uh uh which can be indexed like products uh, orders and user data is indexed in the elastic search and the view storefront api basically consume data from here and there are some data which you required uh, on the live basis like uh, some card tools applied to the promotion and all this stuff it's it's directly uh, accessed by the backend so 
This was some uh, information about the view storefront API connector. And, uh, and the next part is the service worker here. So as we say, uh, view storefront is 100% uh, support offline mode. That means uh, even the, uh, there's no internet connectivity, the user can browse your website and uh, uh, add the product to cart and even place the order. So how this happened? So basically, we have the service worker uh, in between. What it do is uh, it uh, basically take care of the of the uh, two main things in the view storefront. First is the caching of products and the category and all catalog related things to provide the offline feature. So all these products and the categories are cached by this uh, service worker. And second is used. It is for uh, for for the orders which are uh, made during offline. So basically, uh, user can place the order even when uh, when the internet internet connectivity is not available. But then you have to push uh, this order when the when the uh, when when when, he, when it got the connectivity. So it is taken care of by the service worker. And you can see the index DB is used for this all purposes to storing the products, cart, and and order stuff. So basically, this was the a very high level structure of the view store uh, front. Uh, and here we taken the example of the Magento uh, backend. And again, it could be anything, uh, any backend which you would like uh, to have. There are some out of the box uh, backend support available. And if you have your own custom uh, backend, you can also uh, plug it here and write and, and follow this architecture to implement your backend with the view store front. So let's uh, let's see uh, the core part of the view store front. Uh, basically, uh, the concept which which you need to be familiar if you want to uh, explore or get into the depth of view store front. So we have we have three main fundamentals in the view store front. It's first is the core, second is are the modules, and third are the the themes. So basically, uh, uh, we have the uh, Core is, 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 is really the core of view storefront. It's basically uh, all the features that allow view storefront to work is basically uh, are, are glued by uh, the core uh, view storefront core. So it's contain all the entry points, the SSR behavior, the build process. So uh, if we, uh, I will jump into the code uh, to show you the uh, core uh, part of view storefront. Then comes the module. So uh, it's a simple module. So you can see uh, uh, there are some core modules and there are some source SRC, uh, the modules available in the SRC related to e-commerce features. So basically, as we say, it's a PWA for e-commerce. So there are various uh, uh, functionality which, which needs to be taken care of in e-commerce, like uh, product browsing, add to cart, add to wish list, uh, and the uh, other some third party integration so everything can you imagine you can imagine as as a as a module so this is how the independent modules are built and and plug into the view store front so modules are the second important aspects of the view store front and the third is the theme so basically uh, uh, your theme could be customizable when uh, view store front came with a default theme but in in the in in the e-commerce world, everybody wants to use their team and uh, which which represent their brand. So it provides a very out of the box, easy functionality to update the theme so that you can you can build your own theme uh, the way the way you like. So this was uh, some uh, uh, details about the uh, view storefront uh, uh, concepts. So let's uh, let me quickly show you the code uh, about this three fundamental which we have. Uh, uh, discuss. So basically, uh, the core has uh, uh, all the service worker related code, the server, and the pages. So this is all the part of the core uh, core thing. And then if we if we look at the uh, the second part, which are the our modules. So basically, uh, the modules uh, in core you can see uh, there are some out of the box pre built modules which which is required for any e commerce like uh, cart catalog browsing, checkout. We also have the CMS and uh, like uh, newsletter. So all these are the built as a module and, and are the part of core. At the same time, we also have uh, uh, the modules available uh, and the SRC, uh, which is uh, you can uh, write your own integration or, 
or any third party integration which you would like to implement or your own module which you would like to implement like uh, uh, here you have you can see uh, the cash on delivery so it's, it's an optional thing so this module is in the src directory uh, one thing which is not to be taken care of is uh, uh, we never uh, change anything in the core if you want to build your own custom solution or want to extend something you can write it uh, you can play uh, or do it in your src directory so it's uh, it's uh, suggested to not play, uh, not to do anything or or modify in the core of the view storefront uh, then here yeah, then there comes the themes so you can see uh, we have uh, a default themes available here and uh, there were also the new capybara theme for view storefront which can be also used so it comes with the default theme and and you can implement your own theme as well and uh, also you can uh, use the capybara which is a new theme for view storefront so uh, this was the uh, some brief details about the uh, view storefront its architecture and uh, and how it's work so 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 if you if you have any question uh and and would like to discuss something yes uh, uh, we are open to it i have one question uh, yes i sure uh whenever the user plays an offline order so are there any functionalities which uh, checks if there is any offline uh, orders and uh, whenever the user is online, then places that order in, in the back end, like in Magento yes. or something? Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, so basically, the service worker is the game player here. So if, if you if you know, basically, service worker uh, is the client side proxy uh, written in JavaScript. So basically, uh, it takes care of the things. I mean, so we are using here index DB. So whenever the uh, the end user place the order uh, since we have cached many things right like products and uh, so so user can navigate our catalog and add to the cart even when there is no internet connectivity so basically when the order is placed it uh, when there is no uh, internet connectivity it is stored in the index db and then service care uh, service worker take care of this uh, to push this order uh, to the back end when there there is uh, uh, internet connectivity back so yeah so i uh so do you want some more details on it or, or we are good to go we're good to go thank you thank you so much everyone for uh, joining